Hello everyone, it's Duay and you're watching Paul's TV. I realized I could sing at, I think 13, 14, it was quite late for me, but <laughs> then I started singing and I realized, I, I started getting compliments by people that, oh, he has a good voice, you should be in the choir, you should do this, yeah. Um, I signed up for The Voice because I respect the show, even before I got to Nigeria. It was a show I've always respected, the biggest singing competition I've been following from worldwide, the US, the UK. And so hearing The Voice was coming to Nigeria was really a big stepping stone for me. Yeah. So I was several years old, my mama told me, go make yourself some friends or you be lonely. Once I was several years old. My audition was nerve cracking as <laughs> it almost broke me down because then I had to sing in front of respected people in the industry, respected artists. You have Tubaba, you have Baje, you have Pateran Ken, you have Timmy Dakola, and I had to sing to please them, and it was so much. But, <laughs> conquered. Don't let them change you. I signed up with the with the mindset to learn, with the mindset to learn and and just grow along. So it wasn't just about winning for me, it was about growing. And if winning was there then it's <laughs> but it wasn't really about winning for me, but then thinking that she is no good for me. No good for me. Oh, oh, oh. I had so many fears like, oh, something could go wrong and if something goes wrong, it's going to be on the internet forever and I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to be stuck on the internet. So I had so many fears, but then when the music sets in, it all dies down. It's just to entertain and have fun at the end of the day. The one, you know. um, it was a dream come true. I didn't have him turn for me in the blind edition, so it was almost impossible to even have him coach me. But then after the steal and working with him, it has been great. He teaches you to sing passionately, not even about your techniques. He wants you to connect to something. And that's a big thing I learned from my journey in the competition. I love the fact that we had to work with professionals and we had to do so many routines. We had to do vocal training every day, learn songs at short periods, which could be very ta um, tasking. The whole point was just to challenge myself and, and I got what I wanted. The one, you know. Funny enough, my best perf performance isn't the best performance of the general crowd from what I've been hearing. <laughs> I think my best performance is um, It's a Man's World by James Brown. Yeah. Because then it's a soul song and I could connect and sing passionately. To take us over the I think it was when uh, when Tsubaba was like the way we are going to do it the way it was really so <laughs> it was really so weird and, and unbelievable. I never dreamt a legend could say that to me. So <laughs> 